With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, in this question is given that for what value of k, the system of equations. Here three equations are given, kx plus y plus z equals to 1 x plus k y plus z equals to k and x plus y plus k z equals to k square has no solution okay so first of all we will write the three equations that are given to us in the question kx okay plus y plus z okay this equation is equals to 1 similarly next next equation is x plus k y plus z equals to k okay and third equation is given that x plus y plus k z okay this whole will be equals to k square okay so if I'll write these equation in terms of matrix, okay. So what will be my A matrix? A matrix can be written as co with coefficient of x, y, z. Okay. Here I will write k one one. Okay. Similarly in column two I will write coefficient of y. So one k and one. Here in third row, third column, sorry, I will write coefficient of z. So one one and k here. Okay. This is the value of a. Now what will be the value of b? Value of b are the here variables x y z okay and value of c it will be equals to here what i'm having in rhs 1 k and k square so this is the value of a b and c as you can see here it is given that the equation will have no solution okay so what is the meaning of no solution no solution means determinant of a matrix will be equals to zero okay now we are having matrix a with us so let's find the value of this matrix a okay let me just write the matrix again here so this is the matrix okay now we'll find the determinant of this matrix a okay this is matrix a so we know how to find determinant okay determinant of a will be given by here i will write k and now multiply this k and k so it will be k square minus one okay minus one in the middle it will be k minus one and last it will be one multiplied with one minus k okay now simplify this further on simplification what we'll get here we'll get k cube minus k okay minus k and plus one and here one plus one sorry minus k here okay this will we get on simplification so on further simplification we'll get here k cube and here minus 3k okay and plus 2 okay this is the equation and it is given that determinant of a is equal to 0 so we can write here k cube minus 3k plus 2 value it will be equals to 0 okay this is cubic equation on so on further solving this cubic equation i will get here k minus 1 okay and k minus 1 will be other factor and k plus 2 this whole will be equals to 0 okay okay so let me show you how we got these three factor okay this is the equation we are having kq minus 3k plus 2 okay so if i'll put value of k equals to 1 in this equation so what i'll get 1 minus 3 plus 2 okay and this is equals to 0 okay so means k minus 1 will be 1 factor okay k minus 1 will be 1 factor okay this is the process how we solve cubic equation now what we'll do let's write here k minus 1 okay because this is 1 factor and we'll divide it with, it with k cube minus 3k plus 2 okay this is the cubic equation that we need to solve okay so i'll multiply this with k square so it will be k cube minus k square okay so here this will be minus this will be plus and these both will get cancelled okay so what i'll get here k square minus 3k plus 2 is left okay now multiply the equation with plus k so it will be k square minus k okay here minus here plus okay so again this will be cancelled okay and minus 3k and plus k so it will be minus 2k plus 2 so now here i'll write minus 2 okay so multiplying this with minus 2 i'll get minus 2k plus 2 okay here minus plus sorry and here minus so both will get cancelled and zero so what are the factors for this cube equation k minus 1 and k square plus k minus 2 okay so i have written here k minus 1 okay and if we'll solve this quadratic equation we'll get these two other factors that is k minus 1 and k plus 2 okay that's why we have written three factors here now let's come back to the question and let's erase this explanation part so while equating this with equals to 0 we'll get two values of k that is k is equals to 1 and another value of k will be k is equals to minus 2 okay so we are having two values of k if i'll put these two values in this equation these three equations okay 
Suppose let's put k equal to 1. So x plus y plus z it will become okay. Second equation will be x plus y plus z and similarly third equation will be same. Okay. So let's write here. If we'll put okay what we have considered if k is equal to 1 then what we'll get here? We'll get a condition here like a1 upon a2 upon a3 it will be similarly equals to b1 upon b2 upon b3 okay and this will be c1 upon c2 upon c3 this will be the condition that we'll get when we'll put k equals to 1 and, and this is equation of what this is equation of infinite solution so it means we'll get infinite solution when we'll put k equals to 1 okay now let's check another condition if we'll put k equals to minus 2 this was the another condition so if we'll put k value that is equal to minus 2 then we'll get no solution okay there will be no solution for value k equals to minus 2. So let's check here. What are the values of k given? Here it is not given any value that minus 2 is not given as an option. So we'll mark none of these. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.